Hey guys, Jaya Gone po, Keepsakes. Welcome to episode number 3 of the Deremoe Archive. And you can see na may green screen ako dito sa likod. Actually, this is the first time that I'll be using this green screen for this recording, for, for these kinds of vlogs. Kasi most of the time, I use it either sa... Uh, mga live streams, mga pinupuntahan ko ng mga live streams, Zoom, especially na there's this virtual background and it's much effective to use a virtual background, especially na kayo mag-Zoom meeting and all, simply because yung background nyo, hindi siya yung parang, ah, solid lang to na puti, ah, solid lang to na something else, ah, magulo yung background. So, if you have a green screen with you, takpan lang ng green screen yung mga bagay-bagay na magugulo doon sa paligid niyo and poof, you can set up your virtual background and you can do stuff. You can, you can, uh, say, go to virtual Akihabara, to virtual Namco Pro Theater, to virtual Neo Venezia, or even dun sa... Flor Lapin Cafe ng Goche Usa. So, yeah, those those are the things, no? And, yeah, it's it's pretty nice. So, again, have a green screen with you, especially na you're staying at home and especially that you would love to get keep yourself busy and yung content ninyo, this is just there. Katulad nung sa amin, it's just there. It's waiting to be shared again. So, uh, before I get further of tangent ano i love it if you will subscribe to the channel first before we proceed to this segment Pali this episode consists of some of the outdoor events that we went to ano um as a list dito is fantasy quest funcon and then the seco then meet up sa this these are in different locations Dalawa sa kanila in Quezon City. Yung isa sa Tandang Sora, yung isa sa Farview, Este Fairview, and yung isa naman is sa Pasig Grave, the Rainforest Adventure Park, which is ilang beses ko na bang hindi napupuntahan ng rave. Napuntahan ko na siya dati, last year, but not this year, of course. Pero darating din tayo dyan. So we'll start with Fantasy Quest. Specifically, Fantasy Quest 3. What we have covered there is yung third edition nila around 2013 at Fernwood Gardens. It's it's the same venue naman eh. It's still Fernwood eh. I believe Fernwood had two properties. Uh, one in Quezon City and one in Cavite, Tagaytay. Pero um, uh, this one, for this Fantasy Quest 3, this was held at uh, Kulyat. Tandang Sora, Quezon City, no? And if I'm not mistaken, this is also the venue kung saan nagsushooting si Vicky Morales for Wish Ko Lang way back then. Fantasy Quest, also known as FQ, is a grand event spearheaded by Romeo and Cesa Jr. with Cosplay Network Philippines as the official organizing partner and Fernwood Gardens for the venue. There has been an increase of visiting foreign cosplayers and photographers for every FQ event, especially from Southeast Asia, Netherlands, and Japan. FQ also invites cosplayers from outside the country as official guests. Among them are Eugene Fei from Thailand, Yolpler from Thailand, and Usagi from Japan. Fantasy Quest is open to everyone but has a limited number of attendees as we went to give the best and memorable experience to each of them during the event. Alam nyo, totoo talaga tong sinasabi nila na uh, they want to give the best and memorable experience to each of them during the event. Kahit nasabihin natin na itong event na to, it's not held that annually, uh, they do skip a year sometimes or two and uh, namimiss na mga tao ito. Once people go to Fantasy Quest, mamimiss na ng mga tao because one, there's a Fernwood Gardens. There's a lot of attractions for cosplayers and photographers alike. They can shoot all they can with their equipment and with their memory cards intact. Kasi, isabi ko nga, maraming mga attractions dito. They have like multiple displays and they also have the chapel and they also have this staircase na any angle, siguro makakapili ka ng isang angle from all the angles that you can use uh, pag tinig tinitignan mo yung punto de vista mo sa camera, you, eat, you can go to the left side, you can go to the right side, you can go to the middle side and then you can also tilt that some, some kind of thing, parang ganun 
So really, it's it's a great place to have a photo shoot. And again, sinabi nila dito na there's a limited uh, crowd, but that limited crowd nandoon pati mga foreign cosplayers na gusto explore ang uh, cosplay community ng Pilipinas. And it's one big thing for me kasi uh, hindi lang tayo nakikilala sa, sa among ourselves. Kaika from the Cosplay Chronicles has featured this on her blogs before. And if you don't know Kaika, you've na, you haven't been in the cosplay community in the 2010s. I'm telling you, kahit ako dito sa Pilipinas, I know Kaika from the Cosplay Chronicles. Very active siya at that time. Now, moving back to Fantasy Quest, ang experience ko dito so far is... Uh, you can you can see in these videos na nagbimingil yung mga tao they, they, this is a cosplay ball and uh, what you're seeing on that area um, there's four otaita dyan mga kumakat na ng vocaloid covers and yung nakikita ko dito on this video right here is this is daytime ano may araw pa noon and people are uh, mingling with each other, nagpaplano na yan ng mga concepts nila, how, how they will be captured on photo ng kanilang mga photographers, ng mga photographers who are there. Um, it's, it's parang sabihin na natin networking event yan and the output can be either save sa portfolio ng photographer or pwedeng gamitin ng cosplayer sa cost cards. Yes, cost cards. And I hope uh, I'm right kasi pag, pag talagang best shot mo, you will feature that in your cost card eh. This is coming from a non-cosplayer like me. So, again, Fantasy Quest. If there will be a Fantasy Quest again, I will gladly go to that again kasi nakakamiss. Take note, this is before the concept of open photo shoots and even out of town photo shoots ilan lang siguro kung merong gumagawa ng out of town photo shoots sa kapanahunan ni Fantasy Quest ilan lang pa lang yun this one here is an event with four editions that captured not just the cosplayer cosplaying audience from the metro but also some from overseas since we're at it we have this clip from our former podcast, ano, it's called The Roundtable Otakos. Nothing great will ever be achieved without a great man. And men are great only if they are determined to do so. Usagi, Zell. Honored guests from Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, VIP, ladies and gentlemen. Good day and welcome. On average, the Philippine cosplay community as about three conventions in a month, with attendees ranging from a hundred of tens of thousands. Age doesn't matter. Now, as we often see cosplayers as young as kindergarten to people, old enough to be my dad, <laughs> with that said, one can deny that our community is definitely growing. But with growth comes responsibility as well. The Fantasy Quest project is our answer to that. As an org of dedicated enthusiasts, our goal has always been this, making a multi, sorry, making a difference. Achieving unity in our community seems to be a daunting task. Truth to be told, it actually is nothing a short of miracle can help us now, right? Well, why wait for a miracle? To begin with, we at CNPH believe that this goal is more than just a fantasy. This goal of making a difference, a quest, join us as we open doors for our community and as we share new experiences. Fantasy Quest 3 Live One is now officially open. Thank you guys. Okay, so next on the list, FunCon. This was an event at Fairview, Quezon City. Ano? And uh, siguro hanapin ko na rin yung uh, video ko nito. This was somewhere around 2014. Tama, 2014 to. Ano? And 
Itong event na to, this was held in another outdoor venue. Well, it's not technically outdoor pero walang aircon eh. So, I consider every ven venue na walang aircon is outdoor venue. And you know how hot, uh, how hot uh, the climate in the Philippines is. Ito pa yung time na parang nagpe-pretend cinematic ako. And this is, uh, you can see on the left, uh, that one earlier was Marlo from Anime Corner Group Philippines or we say Anime Corner Philippines. Anime Corner has, uh, to Marlo, has been a partner na, na one of uh, close friends ko na. And um, this one here is si Mark Anthony Vibas. He's cosplaying as Deadpool. And I'm cosplaying as a lineman ng PLDT or salesperson ng sinasabi na di umano na pinakamabilis na internet at that time. Well, well, I love that racing shirt. Okay, so... Ito pa yung time na para nag-aftermath pa ako ng mga videos. I, I capture photos from cosplayers. Um, although, bokya ako dito eh. May mga bokya ang shots ako dito. Pero, well, why not? Ayan. I still have, I still, I still have um, uh, my phone and yung, I believe it's a uh, point-and-shoot camera at that time. Ano? Hindi, medyo payat pa nun si Marlo. No? Medyo mataba-taba na siya ngayon. So before we go off tangent na naman uli, kasi mahilig ako mag off tangent, this venue was Funky Monkey Bar and Grill. Ayan pa yung mga shots ko, no? Parang ewan lang. Ayan, that's na right there. That's na right there. Ito si, Do si, ano si, I believe this was a Benson? No? Oh, pero parang natatandaan ko yung mukha nun, eh. Natatandaan ko siya, eh. So, this is just me reacting to stuff, no? <laughs> Ayan. Uh, that one right there on the black shirt was King. And then... Um, ayun. The one holding that huge camera right there is Arkady Mac. He's with us and he's still with us. Forgot who this is, eh. Tingin mo, bokya pa ako sa ano yan, no? Ang gamit ko lang yata yan is ano yung parang um, uh, gan ganito pa yata ang hawak ko yan, eh. Ganito pa hawak ko ng camera. Nice. And yes, at that time, uso na po ang baby metal. And let's not forget this one. This one footage, siya, no? Um, the cosplay was Rei Ayanami. The wig was Mikasa. Teka, teka, teka. So, at the end of this video, at, at the end of this highlight video, meron akong ginawa kay Mark eh. Meron akong ginawa kay Deadpool eh. Ah, asa, yan. I forgot what happened at that time, ano, pero pinaluhod ko siya doon. <laughs> Wala lang, trip ko lang. <laughs> so, that's basically FunCon. Uh, well, katuwaan na event yun. And that was my first time going to Fairview. I was almost at SM Fairview at that time. So really, we had to ride the bus. We had to ride the bus. So medyo may medyo pagkalayla yung ah. That's why it's called far view. You don't call it far view without a reason. Okay. So this video right here, uh, this is Suicon. So third part na tayo ng ating trova ano. This is Al speaking. So yan. Jen uh, siguro unang nagparita si Al ng mukha. Well, he has he had uh, he had this face seen before during the uh, past, ano. Pero rarely yun talaga magpakita yung taong yun, eh. He's the Sikoden expert. Therefore, he reports this activity from Pasig Rave, the Rainforest Adventure Park. And then, yung nakayelo dyan, that's Nicolo. And he's one of the people behind Suicon in the Philippines. This excited a lot of Sikoden fans from around the world, uh, from the other parts of the world, no? Kasi first time lang na magkakaroon ng uh, meetup na Suikon. And again, you, you saw Nicolo earlier, he's cosplaying as Hayo Master Chef. Yeah. So, 
uh, aside from ang pinakanalala ko when I remember my older brother si Kuya nag- naglalaro ng Shiko Den is that Shiko Den there's fighting and then gagawa ka ng pagkain tapos makikipagpaliksahan ka para ano food fight this was really something ah. ilan, ilan lang kumbaga parang yung talaga mga naglalaro ng Shiko Den uh, dito makikita mo talaga kung sino-sino yung mga naglalaro ng Shiko Den eh. this is more of a gamer event and yeah, he's holding something in his hand. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, show it, show it. <laughs> Pakita mo. <laughs> Ayan, papakita niya. Papakita mo. Ayan, those are the photos. That's the ticket. That's around May 2015. Ayan. Mm-mm. So... Uh, the, uh, the the video I'm watching it on ano seven twenty sixty p sixty frames per second. That was really something ano. Yan yung time na uh, nakabili na si Al ng ng DSLR na may sixty frames per second recording. Good times. <laughs> Ah! 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 So again, that wraps up episode number three of the Deremoy Archive. Thank you very much for watching. Until the end of this video, really, marami salamat for taking your time. And as we end this episode, I would like to ask you, ano yung pinaka miss nyo ng mga events way back before the pandemic starts? Leave it in the comments below. And if we have the archive of it from our end, if you have videos from it, if you have coverage from it, we can show it in the next episodes. So, with that said, again, salamat po, and I'll be seeing you next week, 12 noon, Manila time, for another episode. Bye for now. <laughs>